Okay, so it's kind of cold. I'm going to make this quick because it's kind of cold in here. I've got the heater on actually, but it's just one of them days where I can't get any heat into me. So I don't know what that means. It's coming down with something. Let's hope it's not the COVID. That is what we're doing. Okay, this is from Timmy. Of course it is. It's another, his newest New England IPA. Hops in this one are Citra, obviously always Citra with Timmy, plus something else. Citra and Rowaka. So I have not had Rowaka in, I don't even know how long. I have bought them a couple of years ago, but I can't really remember. The only thing I remember is that they're supposed to be like New Zealand version of uh, Saz, I think it is. So, um, uh, oh, there's a bloody bottle opener there. There's the bloody bottle opener there. Come on. If I could use my mind to kind of. And there it is, look, oh my god. Magic. Absolute magic. The magic of editing. Okay. Let's go. Oh, smells like grapefruit. Just look thick. Looks thick and juicy. So yeah, it's another one from Timmy. I, I got six bottles of beer milled at Timmy last week and I was very pleased with myself. I was thinking, yes, I'm clawing it back. I'm clawing it back, all the ones he sends me. And then, yeah, he sent me this, arrived in the post. Okay, there it is there. Looks good. Looks actually quite um good when I hold it up to the light. Kind of looks more, not grey, but, you know, something like I would kind of do. When I look at it in kind of nothing that I like, but when you hold it up there, look, nice and bright, bright yellow color, juice, head's beautiful, white, creamy, thick, everything's thick, basically, every damn thing is thick in this, so let's get a nose, it's heavy citrus, I mean, that could be the uh, the citra. In fact, it is the citra. There's a part of it is citra. I'm just trying to work out what is the rawaka. I can't remember rawaka. New Zealand, but all those. I mean, you could. All those New Zealand hops are really weird, and like you know, you, you plant cascade over there, and it turns into this beautiful bloody tropical fruit, and you you plant saz, and it comes out as. Something completely different. I mean, you probably plant shit and it would come out as fucking gold. Who knows? Okay, now the fridge is stopped. Let's go in. It's heavy citrus on the nose. Citra. Oh, that's quite nice. There is a real kind of intense taste on that, which is, it's not just citra, there's a definite difference. You know what it is? It actually tastes like passion fruit. That's exactly what it is. I was thinking it, it, it kind of reminds me a bit of Galaxy or something, but Galaxy is kind of passion fruit. Oh, that's quite nice. That is quite pleasant, as we said. I mean, I know I'm complaining about the cold, but holding this, if I could just put a glove on, it's just one of them days, I don't know. You know what it was? I was uh, changing a keg, got a keg on carbon over there, and I had like my hands on star sand. Now I just keep the star sand in the, the empty keg, and it was in here, and it was like, but it was bloody cold. It was as cold as the Irish Sea, but like that. That's how cold it felt. And, um, yeah, ever since then, ever since that moment I put my hands in that star sand, just, I've been cold ever since. 
don't know why. It's a very interesting factor. Okay, the body is thick. The body is thick. Beautiful, perfect. It's so kind of creamy almost, the mouthfeel to it. It's actually quite well carbonated. Maybe it's this glass, but I mean, normally the carbonation is a little bit lower, but um, it still does have this really thick and really nice milkshakey type of uh, mouthfeel. No bitterness whatsoever. And then that fantastic tea. I think that really works. The Rowaka, etc. I mean, citra works for everything, let's be honest. Imagine you planted citra in New Zealand. What would that turn out like? My God. I'm sure someone someone must have done that, unless citra, well, no, probably not actually, because citra's probably, um, it's probably behind closed doors. I don't know, do any of those American kind of hop farms own a bit of acreage in New Zealand? Might be a good, uh, you know what, I'm just, I'm just talking crap here. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. That is really, really good. I think that is the best, the best of the ones you've sent me of late. And there's been some bangers in there. It's the, the other one that Timmy sent me. Crystal Vaisen with Nelson Sovin. 6.4%. Now this is actually the next day to the video you just watched. And I'm still wearing the same clothes though. Just to throw you, you know. What can I say? It's locked down. I've given up. I've given up on life. Come on. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Nice bit of fizz in there. Smell is definitely a little bit white. that is dear god look how clear that is wow it's like one of those you know snow globes you get it's christmas time that's what that is a bare snow globe absolutely beautiful okay so nice little white cap on it as well pure white tiny bubbles Get a nose. Definitely getting that kind of Nelson grapey kind of gooseberry aroma. For sure. There is also a bit of like kind of wheat. It's kind of a sweet smell almost. Mmm. Very nice. Okay. I'm going on. Go for another one. That's interesting. Um, kind of got a medium to light mouthfeel on it. It's got a little bit of bitterness to it, which I wasn't expecting. Just after it goes down, it's quite a dry finish on it, <clears throat> and you kind of get this um, bitterness that keeps repeating. And you get the Nelson and you get a lot of wheat on it as well, and it's a bit of an odd It's all in the fact that 
um, you get the kind of it's basically the bitterness on the in the back end. It just stays there. It just lingers. The beer is really kind of really nice, light. It really tastes. You get this really good taste of the kind of the wheat on the, the Nelson in there, but then this bitterness comes in. I'm not sure if that's intended. Or I shouldn't think it is. I mean, it's going down. You can see how that's how dry it is because it's going down like a train. really dry. That was really dry in my mouth. It's just it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Maybe that's kind of where the bitterness is coming from because it is so dry. It's then it, it you're kind of thinking that it's possibly more bitter than what it actually was intended to be in the first place. So I think that's a good beer. It's just that bitterness. If that wasn't there, that would be absolutely spot on. It's still a good beer though. I mean, come on. Look how far, look how fast that's going down. And the Nelson works in there. Throw more Nelson at it, Timmy. Throw more Nelson in at the hop stand. That is so bloody drinkable. So crushable. Oh, I want another one right now. Okay, cheers, see ya.